All right, this is AP exam 2012, number two, uh, the free response. So the question is asking for a particle um, moving along a curve that's position um, at time t um, is given by these two uh, these two equations. Um, I guess answer these questions. Is the uh, an A is starting off asking. Uh, which direction horizontally is the um, particle moving at uh, t equals 2. So we just plug in, um, since uh, dx dt is horizontal, we plug in um, t equals 2 there. So that is 2 plus 2 over e to the 2, which we know, <coughs> we don't even have to really solve it out. <coughs> We just have to know that this is larger than or less than zero, and it's positive, so it's going to be larger than zero, which means the particle is moving to the right. Um, and then uh, explain our answer. Um, so this uh, dx dt is the um, is the uh, the I guess uh, velocity of um, the particle at a given time, and uh, it's which direction the particle's moving. Or um, yeah, it's well, it's the first derivative. So um, we know that when, as long as this is this value is positive, um, the particle will be moving um, in a positive direction, and when it's negative. Um, the, that x value is decreasing, and so um, it is uh, moving in the to the left in the negative direction. So I'm going to write when dx is positive, x is increasing in respect. To t. So that's going to be my explanation. And then find the slope of the path of the particle at time t equals 2. So right now we're looking for at t equals 2 the dx dy. And so the way we're going to solve that is by doing dx dt over dy dt at x at t equals 2. So that's going to be equal to um, it's going to be equal to square root of 4 over e to the 2 all over sine squared 2. And this is all a calculator problem, so we can solve this out. Um, and I'll do that real quick. Alright, so actually this is flipped because we're looking for dy dx, not dx dy. I don't know why I did that. But uh, it's really going to be sine squared uh, of 2 over square root of 4 over um, e to the squared. So this is actually equal to about 0 0.3 something. But the value we're looking for is actually dy dt over, so I'd cross that out on the exam, dx dt which is about equal to 3.055. Um, so that would be the slope of the path of the particle at time t equals 2. Um, so now moving on to b. All right, so <coughs> part b, we're looking for the x-coordinate of the particle at time equals um, 4. And so what we really need is to take the antiderivative of um, this equation, the uh, dx dt, and then um, adjust it um, and solve for c using the position one, or actually not even the position, um, the point one five, but the x coordinate x equals one when time equals two, because uh, there's no y in here, and so we're going to solve that to get our um, equation here of uh, x in terms of t, then we're going to plug in um, t equals 4 and solve. So the integral we need is from uh, 2 to 4 of 
the square root of t plus 2 all over e to the t dt. All right, so we could solve this out, but uh, the easiest way to do it is just plugging it into your calculator. So I, you can plug this part in to your y equals, and then do fn int <coughs> and find the value for this. And this is about um, 0 0.253. And, but you have to remember to add 1, because at time equals 2, the particle's already at position 1. So you can add 1 to that, and you get 1.2. Five, three. as your answer um, and that's the position of the x-coordinate when time equals 4 uh, moving on to C find the speed of the particle at t equals 4 and then find the acceleration of the particle at t alright so <coughs> if you remember um, the speed vector or the um, equation to find the speed is straight up just speed is equal to the square root <coughs> of this the speed of the uh, the x values and the speed of the y values instantaneously at t equals 4 so what we're going to have to do um, is uh, find dx dt at t equals 4 squared plus dy dt at x equals 4. And there is no point in solving, in um, putting more effort in this than necessary. So really just plug it into your calculator because this is a calculator question. Um, and so uh, dx dt is about equal to um, dx dt is about equal to 0 0.04 um, 4, 8, and um, well, pretty much, uh, you have to remember to square it, too. So, um, you get 0 0.00201 plus, um, and then sine 4, and I'm assuming it to the fourth, is equal to um, 0 0.328. Um, and this is a this part is very small um, when you think about it, but um, I, I guess it's important to put it there so they realize what you're doing. Um, and then I mean you could all do this in one step. I'm just going through it. Um, so the answer is square root of um, 0 0.330, and that's about equal to 0 0.574. So that's going to be the speed of the particle at t equals four. Now the acceleration vector is just going to be the um, derivative of this um, with 4 plugged in and comma the derivative of this with 4 plugged in. So it's really simple stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I'll do it off screen, but uh, I'll be back in a second. So the easiest way to do this and the quickest when you have a calculator is literally just plug this equation into y1 and this into y2, which I actually did a little while back, um, and then do n derive y1 comma x comma 4, and um, and then the same thing with uh, y2, and it is very simple. It just gives you the answers, which are negative 0 0.411 comma 0 0.989 which is exactly what they're looking for the because uh, they're acting they're asking for the acceleration vector um, and then D is find the distance traveled by the particle from time t equals 2 to t equals 4 and this is also kinda simple once you realize what you're supposed to do it's really just the integral of the speed um, equation but instead of plugging in your t equals 4 values you're going to um, to do it from 2 to 4. Um, and this is again something you can do pretty easily on your calculator, so I'll get to that off screen. So, again, you're always trying to do this quickly, but what I did in my calculator, which was the fastest way I figured how, is I just did fn int, and where I'd usually put y1, the first value, I just did square root of y1 squared plus x. Two, or y2 squared in parentheses and then did my normal comma x comma 
2 comma 4 and I think all, once they see this integral they know what you're doing so you can just put down the value you get which is 0 0.651 um, and so that's really all there is to it um, it was kind of a pretty straightforward question once you got to see it all the difficulty was just remembering how to find these different values um, yeah uh, yeah, I think it's definitely much easier when you consider that they're allowing you to use a calculator.